Final guest hit the big time as co-presenter of the hit show The Big Breakfast and became a name to be reckoned with in the 90s. Now the TV Golden Girl is back on our screens, fronting a primetime series showing us how the other half lives as she goes in search of dream homes with the stars, including our very own Sherry Houston in Celebrity Fantasy Homes. And then of course, you've got your inside, but you've also got the outside infinity pool when you're actually in the pool itself you can be like that and you feel as if you're swimming out to sea sherry do you fancy going for a swim i don't like this at all i think it's really scary scary mm. <laughs> because you'd be swimming out to yes. sea not that i'm over dramatic no look at those shower heads oh they look like feet oh yeah <laughs> do you know what i wonder if it works do you think it's hot on? <laughs> oh oh Oh. <laughs> Please welcome Gabby Roslin. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Hi, Gabby. Hi, Hi, Did you have fun with our Sherry? Oh, my word. She's yeah. mad, isn't She's she? She's bonkers. Box of frogs. Completely, but so lovely. Yeah, so lovely. But it did get, it got very, very deep. We got very, got some okay. very heavy stuff in it as well so when we finished filming because she admitted stuff that she's never admitted before and it was quite it was and quite it's all candid. on film it's all, all on film okay. see it uh, that's tomorrow night that goes out at nine o'clock right on home the new channel but um after hours we went out and we played in sitches oh did oh. you party <laughs> town oh, party that town with sherry was fantastic she can dance we did. I was the DJ in this gay club, and they asked me to do it. So, I'm not. so Sherry's going, go on, go on. And Sherry and I danced all night to Fame Ooh. and oh. Grease oh, she's <laughs> and Barbara <laughs> Streisand. And... Do you know what? I just went away with Sherry for a weekend, and I, it, disaster followed her everywhere. Well, disaster well, and drama. We went to Marbella, and everything that could go wrong for her went wrong. She lost her passport, all the money flew out of her bag, she fell over in a square and the taxi driver drove off thinking she was a drunken hooker. And honestly, so, so how was it? I mean, you know, was it fair? Exactly like was that. It? <laughs> I knew it. And exactly. how was it with any of the other stars? Because, you know, David Guest, David Guest. Sharp? Well, David Guest is the one that launches it tonight. Okay. And he, you, another very barking man. Well, I'd be bitterly yeah, disappointed if it wasn't the same it's as a night with Sherry. He is, but you know what? A heart of gold, and he was mm. lovely. And he really he wants to find a home. He wants to find a place. He really does. Where did, where did, where did you, you go with him then? Cambridge. Go to Cambridge. But this just looks like celebrity <laughs> house snooping, doesn't well, it? Well, no, really? it's not their houses. What we do is they give us a budget and they tell us exactly what they're looking for and where they're looking for it. So then we take them off to wherever it is with their budget. We show them the four properties, but then it's turned into a show that we never imagined and it's this extraordinary extraordinarily candid show where they get to talk about themselves and things that they've never admitted before because they're not in a studio like i am plugging a tv show or a book or, a, mm. or an album or something they're there talking about themselves and it's about their past their tastes their dislikes their likes and it's extraordinary were you trying to get that sort of stuff out of people no. or was it just mm. came just out how it, evolved. It, it completely evolved like that and People just sort of seem to tell me things, and so it's turned into that. And they so can't forget did... the cameras are there, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, and we're just four days away. And what so sort of things did you find out? Uh, right, uh, well, there was some, um, Sherry, as you'll see tomorrow night, she talks about, in front of Keely, her daughter, who was there as well, that there was a time that she just felt she couldn't go on, and mm. that's how bad it mm. had got, and she's never admitted that before. And mm. I said to her afterwards, you have to go out. She said, absolutely, I feel quite a weight off my mind now even to be able to admit that to Keeley. And what about um, David Guest? I mean, David I, I, I was meaning more celebrity gossip. Well, have you celebrity <laughs> gossip? He, no, he did give us some celebrity gossip. And he, he, I asked him though at one time, I kept saying, please name drop, and he does like to name drop. Mm. And I said, uh, which was the nicest house, the most beautiful kitchen? And he said, the most perfect house he ever went to uh, was Bob Hope's. Okay. And Ginger Clang. Rogers. So there Clang. I was, that close that to close. Ginger Rogers and did Bob you, Hope. Did you stay friends with him? Can he get us Michael Jackson tickets? Well, he's, do you know what? He'll be watching now because he's watching it all. Can and he does we have no record Tito, Tito was in the building the other day and I put a note under his door but he's not wrong me. <laughs> He'll be watching. David watches it all. And also we had Lee Sharp on yes. and Misha Paris who's absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Um, mm. Brendan Cole. The strangest thing I found out about Brendan Cole 
is, I mean, you know, quite sadly, he was very bullied when he was a child, which he's never talked about before, she talks about. But also, he went to this one house with this multi-billionaire, and it's, this man had a room dedicated to death. Okay. And he, yeah. Skulls, um, coffins, he had a, a framed um, invitation to the Princess of Wales' funeral. Oh. Yeah. And there's a huge scythe on the wall. And Brent, I walked in and just went, well, I don't like this room. Brendan walks in and says, oh, isn't this amazing? This is really interesting. Oh, I like sides. I always go dressed as the, I go dressed as the Grim Reaper to fancy dress party. <laughs> was his, was his well, fiance with him at the time? No, uh, actually, she did come around a couple of the properties because they completely fell in love with two of the properties. And it was just before they were engaged. And, uh, and he actually says on the show, well, when we're married and everything, she's like, oh, have you got something to tell me? And I was like, oh, oh. But he didn't do it on the show. On a rather more jolly note, sex, 365 days, what a year, a year. <laughs> you offering? No. Oh. <laughs> Could you? I don't know, 365 days. I mean, literally, every, every single day. Every day, yeah. Would you recommend But that? I wouldn't go and not dress up, but I'm also very careful. I'm not careful about, you know, putting the dishwasher no. away, you know. Mm. I would just, watch you before. Just straight yeah, on down no. there. <laughs> Dustin, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, as a, as a, you know, do you think, do you think that they, that women have kind of um, I don't, an obligation to supply, you know, their like, demand like, like Carol, Carol Greer does. Well, no, I don't know if it's an obligation, but David and I have only been together three and a half years. Three so. and a half years? Yeah, so we're still and smiling. Still all right. Absolutely. Oh, thank God yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. So Same. how long have you and Mark been together? Nine months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a permanent smile. Come on, that's years for me, isn't that it? Is, that is, exactly. That's years. He is gorgeous. I know he is. Oh, I know. Oh, stunning. Well, we, I saw you, you met him at the David, David Guest party. Yeah. And you're, you're also massively busy. Do you think that women can have it all? Can it be done? Do you know what? I think you have to in this day and age. You have to try. I have to work. I have to pay bills. And I am mummy 24 hours a day. And I'm a partner, so I have to try but and do it But if you all. didn't have to, would, could you, would you rather just be at home with your kids? Uh, no, because I absolutely love working. I love yeah. being a presenter. So it, that would be a lie. And an actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've sort of, I haven't have done you? that for a while, though, now. And but, a little but, bit of everything. But, yeah, yeah, a jack of all. I'm not asking to be a master of any, but jack of all, I don't mind. Lovely. Gabby, it's a pleasure having you on. Gabby Rosen, everyone. Thank Woo! you. Very much.